online school. My name is Oswald Dindoda. Welcome, my friend here. I am going to take you in English for grade 6 and 7. Let us remember to put on our masks and let us reach for our bottles of sanitizer and rub in the palms outside in between the fingers and let us also maintain one meter social distance. Today's lesson is going to be on nouns. Right, let us turn to page three on nouns. What are nouns? Nouns are naming words. They name people, places, objects, and ideas. Here are some examples of nouns. Man, pen, book, Peter, Apple, Conja, Sister, Friend, Hubabis, Karas Region, and Ongwediva. There are four main types of nouns. We have common nouns, proper nouns, abstract nouns, and collective nouns. Now, common nouns, a common noun is a word that names any person, place, thing, or idea. Examples of common nouns in sentences. My book is on the table. So, the word book and table, those which are underlined, are the nouns, are the common nouns. My book is on the table. Book and table are common nouns. The next one, Tamika went to school early in the morning. The, no, the common noun there, which is underlined, is school. I went to church today. The common noun, which is underlined, is church. There were many people absent. People is our common noun. Right, let's move to proper nouns. Proper nouns are names of specific persons or people, places, things, or ideas. Let's turn to the next page, page four. They always start with capital letters. These are proper nouns. They always start with capital letters. Most of them are not found in the dictionary. Examples of proper nouns in sentences. My book, Long Walk to Freedom, is on the table. As you can see there, Long Walk to Freedom is underlined, thus the proper noun. It is the name of a book. The next one, Tamika goes to Mati Atisari, sorry. Tamika goes to Mati Atisari Primary School. Now, the underlined words, Tamika and Mati Atisari Primary School, those are the proper nouns. We 
we I explained the common nouns and the proper nouns, and we said the difference is proper nouns are specific names. Let me write this on the board. Proper nouns are specific names. All right. And common nouns are just names. Right. For example, here, if we say tree, that's a common noun. And here, a specific noun, we say shilongo. All right. Now, on activity one, it says, look at the picture and answer the questions. There are some pictures there. Uh, question number one says, identify any 10 common nouns from the picture and write them in spaces provided. Common nouns, common nouns. We are only looking at common nouns from the pictures, not uh, proper nouns. Right. Um, for example, a common noun from the picture is a tricycle. Can you see a tricycle? And there is also a pair of shoes in the picture. Those are common nouns. So I want you to complete from number three to number 10, writing those uh, common nouns, which you can see. Right, let us turn to page five. The first one says, use any two common nouns from the list and write two sentences of your own. Underline the common noun used. For example, I will choose um, shoes, a pair of shoes. A pair, a pair of shoes. Right. This word shoes is my noun, and I want to use it in a sentence. Every day before I come to school, I polish my shoes and put them on. Right. I have used the word, uh, I mean the uh, uh, common noun shoes in a sentence. Uh, so that's, that's what I would like you to do. Only, you choose only two and then you write sentences. But don't copy the one I have written. All right. Let's move on to activity two. Read the passage below. Say all the proper nouns and write them correctly on the lines below. Remember, we said proper nouns are specific names. There are specific names like names of people. And therefore, they must be, uh, sorry, they must begin with a capital letter whenever you write them. Make sure you begin with a capital letter. Right. Let me read. Mandume lives in a village outside of Rundu, which is the capital of the Kavango East region of Namibia. The town borders Angola and is on the banks of the Okavango River. 
the bus collects him each Monday and takes him to Rudolf Gondo Primary School. He, re he reads the book The Great Flood by Hope Dube while he travels to the bus. Right. I will repeat the reading. And while I'm repeating, try to identify proper nouns, which are specific names either for people or places or ideas. Right, let's read again. Mandume lives in a village outside of Rundu, which is the capital of the Kavango East region of Namibia. The town borders Angola and is on the banks of the Okavango River. The bus collects him each Monday and takes him to Rudolf Ngondo Primary School. He reads the book The Great Flood by Hope Dume while he travels to the bus. So we are given number one to ten there. You read and choose proper nouns, which means specific names. For example, I will do number one and two for you. We have Mandume. Mandume, that's a name of a person. Let me wrap this. Mandume with a capital letter. Mandume. That's our number one. Number two, uh, Mandume lives in a village outside of Rundu. Rundu, that's a name of a village. So it should have a capital letter. Right, let's uh, now start reading and writing. Let us proceed to... Activity three, this is on page six. It says, Bob cannot remember nouns. That word Bob there is a proper noun, okay? Read the descriptions, write down a word of your choosing, and circle the type of noun it is. Right, there's a mistake there. Where it says choosing is supposed to be choice. C H O I C E. So it would read, read the descriptions, write down a word of your choice, and circle the type of noun it is. Right, I think it's clear now. On your left, it says, circle the correct. Answer. Now, how do we answer this? Let's go to number one. I'll give it as an example. Maybe number one and two as examples, and then the rest, you do it on your own. Right. Uh, the first one, Dash is the brand name of a shoe. Dash is the brand name of a shoe. Right. Um... Do we know brand names? For example, we have Wayne Brenner. That's a brand name of a shoe. So I would say Wayne Brenner is the brand name of a shoe. And we go to common and proper. That, uh, uh, sorry, that name, is it common or a proper noun? That should be a common noun. Number two, the dash is an animal with a shell. The tortoise is an animal with a shell. Again, it's a common noun. Now do number three up to number ten. You underline or circle or the, the word that you'd have written, whether it's proper or common. 
Now we move on to page seven, where we have our activity number four. It says, cut out the cards, match the common and proper nouns. Extra challenges to note, use a few of the proper nouns and the matching common nouns in sentences. Don't forget their capital letters if you write them. Remember, we said proper nouns should have, I mean, should begin with capital letters. Turn the cards face down and play matching pairs with a friend, parent, or guardian. Right. Now, we have um, three columns there. The first column is for proper nouns, which should begin with a capital letter. And the second column has got the answer. And the last column is the common noun. For example, we have number, let me pick on number, let me pick on number, okay, number one. Comas, comas, the word which corresponds with commerce is region. So we say commerce region. All right. Commerce region. And then number two, number two, there is checkers. Checkers. Checkers is a proper noun which corresponds with G, which is supermarket. Checkers is a supermarket. So, you continue from number three up to number seven, finding the corresponding words. Remember, you first cut out, you first cut them out into cards. Then you open them up and try to match them. Just like the example that I've given for commerce region and checkers supermarket. Okay, if you have problems, you should ask. Right, um, let's open on page eight, where we have activity five. Proper and common nouns. Classify the following nouns in the table below by writing word item in the work, sorry, in the word bank, in the correct column. Let me read again. Classify the following nouns in the table below by writing word item in the word bank in the correct column. Right, we have the word bank there, where we have such words as Swakop Moon, Superhero, Kitchen, School, etc. Now the question is saying, you classify those words as common nouns or proper nouns. Remember we said proper nouns, always they begin with a capital letter, like Swakop Moon, which is a town. We write it beginning with a capital letter. Right, so I am saying all those words uh, which are specific names, like Swakop Moon, we write them under proper nouns, and then the other words, the other names, we write them under common nouns. All right. So we said Swakop Mund will go to proper noun, and perhaps um, 
man, uh, train will go to common noun Africa it goes to proper noun those are uh, specific names Africa remember is, is a name of a continent right let's move on to the next activity on page 9 Right, are we all on page 9? This is activity 6. Proper and common nouns. Identify the underlined word in each sentence as a proper or common noun. Write P for proper and C for common. An example. Manchester United is a good soccer team. The underlined word is Manchester United. You see the way it is written. Capital letter M and capital letter U to show that it's a specific name of a, of a club or a soccer team. So Manchester United is a, a good soccer team. So in the space provided, there is a P to show that it's a proper noun. Right. The next one says, the brave warriors will play soccer tonight at the Independence Stadium. Independence Stadium is a proper noun, which is underlined as well. So, on the space provided, you write a P as well to show that it's a proper noun. It's a specific name. My last example is on number two. The family will eat lunch together. The family will eat lunch together. The word family is just a common noun. It's not a proper noun. So we write it in small letters, as you can see. So on, on, on the space provided, we write a C for common noun. So you can do the rest from number 3 up to number 10, showing us whether it's a common or a proper noun. Make sure you ask if you do not understand. Right. Last but not least, let's go to page 10, which is activity number 7. It says, write your own six proper and six common nouns in the table down below. Six proper and six common nouns in the table down below. Right. You should take note of the differences between a common noun and a proper noun. Remember we said a proper noun is a specific name while a common noun is just a name either of, of, of a person, a building, anything that you may, those names, you write them under common and then the ones with specific names, you write them under proper nouns. Right, for example, I would choose a word like table. Table is a common noun. And for proper noun, I will choose a word like Namibia. Namibia is, is the name of a country, which is our country. So it begins with a capital letter, Namibia. So do the rest uh, by writing common and proper nouns.
Right, boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson. Uh, I hope you are not going to forget the difference between proper nouns and common nouns. Remember I said proper nouns are specific names like Namibia, Okavango, Delta, etc. These are specific names and common nouns are just simple names like table, chair, tree, etc. Make sure you don't forget that. And we should also not forget to sanitize, uh, keep the social distance. Before we go, let's take our sanitizer and try to sanitize inside our palms, outside, and in between the fingers. And finally, maintain the social distance. Thank you, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Joshi. And make sure to always make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. And make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. Goodbye. Hi beautiful souls, this is Nikita Winkler and I am here to share easy tools for stretching that you can do just about anywhere. This is a demonstration, so what's most important is that you take enough time that your body requires to release the amount of tension that you have. So let's get started. In this session, we will do neck stretches. I'm going to show you rotations, full rotations, you can do half rotations and we're going to add a bit of tapping just to release the tension even more. Alternatively, give yourself a massage. If you have a lot of tension, go for the massage first before you do anything just to warm the muscles and let's get going. Full rotation. Releasing at every angle of this rotation. And I'm going to reverse, go the other side. All right, we'll do a half rotation. And then I'm going to just stop for a static stretch. Take the arm over the head, relax the shoulders. Drop the other arm or alternatively to deepen the stretch, take it right behind. Hold and release change to the other side, arm over the head, release the shoulder, let the weight of the arm pull you into the stretch. If you want to go deeper, take the arm around, relax the arm at the back and release. One more to the front, interlace the fingers to the back of the head, lean the elbows forward and release. If you're feeling a lot more tension, either go for the massage or just do some rotations. And that's it for now. Thank you for joining me. Happy stretching and don't forget to breathe.